great games that were never released. It's not that rare to get all hyped for a game that ends up suffering from performance issues, technical difficulties, and other problems, and ultimately getting cancelled. Let's have a look at 10 games that never made it to the public. Tip Down Tip Down was supposed to be an action role-playing game that was first revealed in 2013 as a showcase title for Sony's PlayStation 4 console. Developed by Capcom, the gaming was initially planned for release in 2014, but it encountered numerous setbacks and ultimately entered development hell. Despite its prolonged absence, the game has not been officially cancelled, and there have been occasional hints from Capcom that it might still see the light of day. Set in a futuristic New York City, Tip Down blends elements of science fiction and fantasy, immersing players in a world where they can travel through time by touching magical artifacts. The game's core gameplay revolves around cooperative dungeon crawling, similar to Capcom's own Dragon's Dogma, with players teaming up to explore procedurally generated dungeons filled with mythical creatures and challenges. The revelation of Tip Down in 2013 was met with great anticipation, as it showcased the potential of the PlayStation 4 hardware and Capcom's ambition to create a unique and immersive gaming experience. However, the game's development faced numerous obstacles, including delays, technical challenges, and a shift in Capcom's priorities. Despite these challenges, Capcom has continued to hold the trademark for Deep Down, suggesting that they may not have completely abandoned the project. In 2019, Yoshinori Ono, a prominent figure at Capcom, stated that the game had not been completely given up on. However, with Ono's departure from Capcom in 2020, the future of Deep Down remains uncertain. The fate of Tip Down hangs in balance, with its release status shrouded in mystery, while there have been no official updates from Capcom in recent years. The game's enduring trademark and occasional mentions from developers suggest that it may not be entirely dead. Whether Tip Down will ever emerge from development hell and see the light of day remains to be seen, but its potential for an engaging and innovative gaming experience lingers in the minds of many gamers. Scalebound Scalebound was an actual role-playing game that was being developed by Platinum Games for the Xbox One. The game was announced at E3 2014 and was scheduled to be released in 2017, but it was cancelled in January 2017. The game features a unique gameplay system that allows players to control both a human protagonist named Drew and his dragon companion, Tuban. Drew was equipped with a variety of weapons while Tuban could perform powerful attacks and fly. The game also featured a 4-player cooperative multiplayer mode. Scalebound was an ambitious project that was intended to be a departure from Platinum Games' usual style of action games. The game was to have a focus on graphical quality and the role-playing aspect rather than the studio's typical fast-paced action. Despite its ambition, Scalebound was ultimately cancelled due to a variety of factors, including development difficulties and a lack of experience with online features. The game's cancellation was disappointing for many fans, but Platinum Games has expressed interest in returning to the project in the future. Overkills The Walking Dead Overkills The Walking Dead is a first-person shooter game developed by Overkill Software and published by Starbreeze Studios and 505 Games. The game is based on the comic series of the same name and features a cooperative multiplayer mode. The game was initially released for Windows in November 2018 to mixed critical reception, with praise for its atmosphere and cooperative gameplay, but criticism for its technical issues and lack of polish. However, in February 2019, all future efforts on the game were discontinued, and the planned console's versions were cancelled due to the game's poor reception and commercial failure. Set in a post-apocalyptic Washington, D.C., Overkill's The Walking Dead follows a group of survivors who must scavenge for food and supplies while fighting off hordes of walkers, the undead creatures that have overrun the world. Players take control of four playable characters, each with their own unique skills and abilities as they work together to complete objectives and survive the dangers of the post-apocalyptic world. The game's development was faced with several challenges, including delays and a lack of communication between the developers and the publisher. This ultimately led to the game's cancellation and the closure of the Overkill Software's Star Breeze Studios subsidiary. 
Despite its troubled development and mixed reception, Overkill's The Walking Dead remains a unique and ambitious entry into the first-person shooter genre. The game's emphasis on the cooperative gameplay and its gritty and realistic portrayal of the post-apocalypse set it apart from other games in the genre. While the game ultimately failed to live up to its potential, it still offers a compelling and challenging experience for players who are willing to overlook its flaws. Star Wars 1313 Star Wars 1313 was a highly anticipated action-adventure game that was being developed by LucasArts. The game was set to take place on the bustling planet Coruscant, more specifically in the notorious level 1313, an underground criminal underworld teeming with bounty hunters, smugglers, and other residents of the galaxy's underbelly. Players would assume the role of Boba Fett, the iconic bounty hunter in his early adulthood, as he navigated the treacherous depths of level 1313, taking on perilous missions and facing off against formidable foes. The game was being developed using the Unreal Engine 3, promising stunning visuals and immersive gameplay. LucasArts had also implemented an integrated development approach involving industrial lights and magic, Lucasfilm's animation, and Skywalker sound, ensuring that the game would capture the essence of the Star Wars universe with cinematic quality. In anticipation of its release, Star Wars 1313 was officially unveiled at E3 2012, generating significant excitement among fans. However, the game's fate took a dramatic turn in 2013 when the Walt Disney Company acquired Lucasfilm. Disney decided to restructure LucasArts, shifting the studio from internal development to a licensing model. As a result, all ongoing projects, including Star Wars 1313, were unfortunately cancelled. Come on, Disney. Despite its cancellation, Star Wars 1313 has left a lasting impression on the gaming community. The game's concept, visuals, and potential for captivating gameplay have continued to spark interest and speculation among fans. While there has been no official indication of the game's revival, the enduring popularity of the Star Wars 1313 suggests that the possibility of seeing Boba Fett's journey through level 1313 may not be entirely out of reach. Badness In 2006, Neighbors, a Polish video game development studio, announced Sadness, a survival horror game for the Wii console. The game was set to feature a unique and unsettling atmosphere with black and white visuals, psychological horror themes, and innovative gameplay mechanics that utilized the Wii Remote's motion controls. Players would assume the role of Maria Lingio, a Victorian-era aristocrat, tasked with protecting her son Alexander after their train derails in the countryside of pre-World War I Russian Empire. As Alexander's behavior becomes incredibly erratic, Maria must navigate the treacherous terrain and confront nightmarish creatures inspired by Slavic mythology. Neighbors promised an immersive and terrifying experience, with players feeling like they were actively participating in the events of the game rather than simply playing it. The game's branching storyline would be influenced by player choices, leading to one of ten possible endings. Sadness was also planned to feature open-ended interactivity with the game's objects, allowing players to use any available item as a weapon or tool. However, the game's development was plagued by problems from the start. Neighbors' partnership with Frontline Studios, who were responsible for the game programming, fell apart due to artistic differences. The release date was repeatedly pushed back. And Neighbors faced criticism for its lack of transparency with failure to provide any tangible evidence of the game's progress, such as playable demos or screenshots. In 2010, after years of delays and mounting skepticism, Neighbors officially cancelled Sadness. The studio's website went offline and the game's composers released some of their unfinished work to the public, confirming that the project had been abandoned. Neighbors eventually went out of business, and Sadness joins the ranks of other video games projects that were announced but never released, earning the label of Vaporware. The Dark Sorcerer The Dark Sorcerer was presented at E3 in 2013 and was used to test the limits of facial motion capture technology. The short film was a comedy about a film shoot that backfires. The studio wanted to see if it was possible to make people smile with a real-time technology. Quanic Dreams has learned a lot from making these short films, especially the importance of the actor's performance and the challenge of creating emotion in real time. They have also found that working on a few minutes of footage for several months 
can significantly improve the quality of the graphics in the game that follows. Even though the capabilities of the PlayStation 4 were promising and a short film was made to test how powerful the console was, there were only speculations that the Dark Sorcerer would become a game. Sadly, this never happened, and all that was left to gamers was the idea of what could have been a AAA game. Prey 2 the story of Prey 2 had been relatively tied to the first game. In Prey, an alien spacecraft called the Sphere appears over the southwestern portion of the United States and starts abducting humans and other objects as part of its cycle to sustain its resource supply and organic crew. One of those abducted is Tomasi Tami. In part due to his spirit guide from his Native American background, he is able to navigate to the sphere, defeat hostile alien forces, and succeed in freeing captive humans and other life forms from the intelligence that controls it before returning to Earth. Several humors circulated that Prey 2 had been cancelled or changed to developers, including evidence that Arcane Studios had taken over development. Bethesda formally cancelled the game in 2014, stating it was not meeting their expectations. Later, in 2016, Bethesda announced that a reboot of the franchise, Prey, was set for the release in 2017 and was under development by Arcane, who had taken the concepts and thematic elements of Prey but scrapped any previous work that had been done by Human Head, though the game was never released. StarCraft Ghost StarCraft Ghost was a planned action-adventure game. It was announced in 2002 and was originally scheduled for release in late 2003. However, the game was delayed multiple times and ultimately cancelled in 2014. The game was to follow the story of Nova, a young ghost agent and employee of the Terran Dominion. Nova was a human espionage operative with psychic abilities. The game would have taken place four years after the conclusion of StarCraft World War, in which the Zerg had become the dominant power in the Coprulu sector. The game was originally intended for release on Xbox, PlayStation 2, and GameCube consoles. However, the King Kim version was cancelled due to the platform's lack of online support. Blizzard Entertainment took over development, but the game was further delayed due to technical difficulties. In 2006, Blizzard announced that StarCraft Ghost had been put on indefinite hold. The company cited the need to explore new options with the emerging 7th generation of video game consoles as the reason for the delay. Abandoned Abandoned is a survival horror game that is being developed by Blue Box Game Studios. The game was originally announced in April 2021 and was planned to be released on the PlayStation 5. However, the game's release has been delayed multiple times and it is now unclear when it will be released. Abandoned is set in a forest and follows the story of a man named Jason Longfield, who must escape after being kidnapped. The game features realistic gameplay mechanics and requires tactical use of weapons to survive. Abandoned has been the subject of much speculation, with some fans believing that it is a new Silent Hill game developed by Kyuri Kojima. However, Blue Box Game Studios has denied this and Kojima himself has stated that he is not involved in the game. Despite the delays and speculation, Blue Box Game Studios has stated that Abandoned is not cancelled and that it will be released when it is ready. The developers posted in March 2022 on Twitter a response to the cancellation rumors saying that they were false. The development roadmap was underestimated and the game will be released when stable. Though the developer's website shows it's been updated, their Instagram profile shows no posts yet and the YouTube channel doesn't have any content. With this, many believe that the game isn't only cancelled, but it's actually a hoax. Silent Hills PT This video wouldn't be complete without Silent Hills PT. The game is set in a haunted corridor that the player must repeatedly loop through. The player must solve puzzles and avoid the ghost of a woman named Lisa in order to progress. The game was praised for its atmosphere, puzzles, and visuals. PT was developed using the Fox engine, and Kojima's intention was to scare people in a unique way. He wanted the game to take players at least a week to complete, and he designed the puzzles to be very difficult. For one puzzle, you actually had to call for Lisa using your mic. Lisa, talk to me. 
least. Oh, I heard a baby laugh. Are you there? <laughs> the game was originally announced at Gamescom 2014 and it was downloaded over a million times in its first month of release. However, after Konami cancelled Silent Hills, PT was removed from the PlayStation Store. Fans who hadn't had a chance to play the demo due to its removal were willing to purchase used consoles and accounts from those who had the game installed. The game has since been the subject of much speculation and fan remakes, even adapting it to VR. By the way, if you own a PlayStation 5, you can't play the game. It shows in your library as playable only on PS4. The exact reasons for PT's cancellation are unknown, but one theory is that Konami cancelled the game because of the strained relationship between Hideo Kojima and Konami. Whatever the reasons, the cancellation of PT was a major blow to the fans of the Silent Hill franchise. The game was highly anticipated, and it was seen as a return to form for the series. The cancellation left many fans feeling disappointed and angry. Despite its cancellation, PT has left a lasting legacy. The game is still considered to be one of the most terrifying horror games ever made, but it has inspired countless fan remakes and tributes. PT is a reminder of what could have been, and it will continue to be remembered as one of the most tragic cancellations in gaming history. Which of these games were you most disappointed to know they were cancelled? Can you name other great games that were never released? Let me know in the comments. For more content like this, remember to subscribe. That's all, and thanks for watching.